Okay, now for the fun part, an actual demo. This is our e-commerce platform called Expensacart. It's built with Node. It has three services running, all managed by Docker. It has a MongoDB, and it also has a React front end. So in this demo, I'm going to act like I'm a software engineer who is looking for a little bit of a performance problem. The performance problem could have been alerted by my users. It could have been an alert that we had monitoring, or it could have just been me developing and I noticed it. So to simulate this, I'm going to add a few items to my cart. I'm going to check out. And when I check out, there's going to be a little bit of delay here. So you can see here to the next page, it's a couple seconds of delay. So now I, as who I am, want to go figure out where that slowness is coming from. So I'm going to go into middleware. I'm going to head over to real user monitoring, and I'm going to find our application in question, which is our middleware demo front end service. From here, I can see high level heuristics, but because this is a demo, there's not any traffic. But if there was, you can imagine these graphs would be filled. And I'm going to go to my session explorer, which is going to have my single session that we just created. I'm going to open this up and really quickly, I can see a couple things on the right. I can see all of the user events. I can also see the backend requests and I can see errors as well. On the left, I can see our session replay, which my window is open and active for a while, so it's 10 minutes. So I'll speed this up to 16%, 16 times, sorry. And we'll watch as it skips inactive. And eventually we'll find my active session here, which will show my user clicking through each one of these little buttons and creating that slowness when checking out to the thank you page. It should be right around here. Now it's going to skip inactive and I'm going to slow it down. And we can see here, there's me clicking the buttons, there's me checking out, and there's the thank you page. So now I want to figure out why that's happening. And so I can scroll all the way down here. And here's the click on checkout. And right above that is our checkout backend request. So now I can click into this backend request. And really quickly, I have my whole flame graph for this request. I can see that there are three services in question, the front end, the cart service, and the email service. And I can hover over these small little loads to see what these are, but these are just course headers being loaded. And really the span in question is this email send down here. So really quickly, I can see that something is going wrong in my email service can also see that my front end is waiting for my email service to return. And so now I need to go look at what's causing this. I can also probably presume that there's a two second timeout because this happened right about at two seconds. Okay, so that's from the real user monitoring section. But what if I wanna see it from my APM screen? Because I, as a backend engineer, don't care about the front end. So I'm gonna come to my services page and really quickly, I can either do this through a service drill down by clicking on cart service here and then going to resources. And from here, I can scroll down and see checkout, click into checkout and find that same exact request. You can imagine if there were multiple, they'd be listed here. While I was showing you that demo, I was also running a stress test on one of my servers in the background. And so now I wanna show you what it looks like when I wanna go figure out an alert for that specific server. So over here in our alerts page, I'm going to filter to the last five minutes. And I can see pretty quickly that this MW demo CPU alert is in a critical state. So I can drill into this. And from this page, like I showed earlier in our overview video, you can see history of events. And for this specific event that just kicked off, I'm going to drill into it. And I can see from the metrics screen that the CPU is spiked up. And I can also actually go look at CPU by state and really quickly see this as user CPU. So that tells me one thing that there's a process running locally. So if I click into processes and then order by CPU usage, I can very quickly see that there's this stress NG running. And so now I know to go kill this command and figure out who ran it in the first place. That's a high level overview and a couple demo flows of middleware. And if you've made it this far, thank you. Thank you for your time and hopefully it was helpful. If you wanna try middleware out, we have a free tier that's enough for most small companies. 
and you have 14 days free trial anyway. You can try it out at app.middleware.io. And if you have any questions, reach out to us on our community Slack and we'll respond as promptly as humanly possible.